G'day, Faintly Saintly here. I'm back again with some Bingle Bingle. Um, really enjoyed this one. I've actually been playing it uh, quite a bit just to fill some time overnight and um, unlocked a few new things. So if you didn't catch the last one or not sure of what this is, this is a roulette roguelike where it's like a deck builder. Think of Bellatro where you, instead of changing your poker hands, you change the, the powers of the ball and the tiles on the wheel. So I've actually unlocked a new class here, the Trickster, and it randomly marks items in the shop. And uh, when I buy three of those items, it gives me a random effect. It could affect the board. It could affect my tiles and my ball. Um, so it could do a number of things. And I get coins for unused discards. Oh, I'm going to try, try this one. Three tokens start upgraded, but they cost an extra coin to be upgraded in the future. Gain a rare item, but get 20% less score for the first three rounds. Go to the random box, I think. It'll give me bet diversity for each different bet, gain 15% more score. That's pretty good. I'm going to add a bet on. Bit of RNG at the start. I think I might already be doomed because of that 20% penalty. And I just got there in the end. Okay. You see here, this item in the shop, the pocket, has a little mask on it, which means it's one of the three items I need to get a bonus. Um, don't really know what my strategy is. Even odd. So th this class, all the balls start with even odd bits. So, I mean, I could focus on changing things to be even. Um, and I'll get a couple of upgrades in. I think that's important as well. And then we have slightly more even, so I'll bet on that. That's actually the one I put in, isn't it? What are the odds? Hey, okay. round clear. 11 cents. I don't want you because you're odd. really want any of this. I guess I'll grab that because it has a mask on it and I'll get something for it. Win a corner bet, echo bets, or plus one point per the number of numbers you've removed from the wheel. I think that'll scale a bit better. So I believe that means because I've replaced the 35 with the 20, I've actually removed 35 from the wheel. So this should give me one point for that and it will happen for every other one that I happen to remove over the duration. Um, for example, we're going for even, aren't we? So, now I've got two removed. This should give me two bonus points, I believe. Um, I will roll. Might lock that in as well. All right, let's go. I'm gonna bet on even. Gonna roll. Beautiful, no dramas there. Okay, so we have two of these masks got. I'm just going to buy a third one now. What did that give me? Ah, oh, gave me money. Eddie. I'm going to buy this as well, and I'm going to turn some of these odd black ones into even reds. Bet on red or black pockets when winning this bet freeze nearby pockets. Attached token becomes fragile. Um, I think I'm just going to upgrade a few of these. And move on. The boss battle. Tantrum. Every time you discard a token, your tokens are shuffled. Not even worried. Now we've got 24 evens, which is a, a nice ratio. I might even bet twice on even. This is a juicy score, and we beat that in one turn. Clear four rounds with only spinning the wheel once. Clear four rounds without using a discard or destroy 12 tokens. I think I'm better off with this one. More likely to use 
no discards than I am to beat something in one turn. Bit on three numbers horizontally, flash fragile. Wave ball. I do want a wave ball. I roll once. Alpha token. Lock that and I'll upgrade the wave ball. Every time I use the wave ball, base points increase by eight. Which means it scales quite well. Beautiful, halfway there. And that does it. Smash that one. 11 cents. Target ball can be good. Pokeball can be good. I don't think I want this to be my alpha though. I think I want that to be just one that I can bet with. Because I don't want the wave ball to go first, I want it to go after we've bet. So I'm going to put that alpha there. I'm going to roll. Oh, what happened here? They're all masked. Bet on one number. No, thank you. I think I'm just going to grab this. Do you have any odd. Blacks left, there we go. Okay, so because we gave this chip the alpha, it's going to come up first every time, so then I can use that to bet, and then hope that my wave ball comes in soon after. There it is. We're up to 18 base points now. That'll go up again. That'll give us a nice score. Beautiful. So. Roll the ball, the next ball will go into the same pocket. Unique item box. Hmm. Tell you what. Roll me once. I can't quite tell if multiple is good. It can get you out of a pinch, but one of the later bosses has something that um, makes that really ineffective. And it's nice to have, but I think I might focus on upgrading the alpha one here. And I'll give that a little upgrade as well. And carry on. Get on evens. Here's the wave ball. Eighteen hundred. I'm gonna bet on evens again. And that'll do it. So I've cleared three rounds now without using a discard. One more, and then I will gain 25% more score per different token used this round. So that'll be a nice little buff down the line. Um okay, that's a mask item. I think I should focus on those a bit more as well. Do that. Um, what else have we got? Wouldn't mind that, actually. I think upgrades are probably more important at the moment. Put those in. Boss battle. Rapid cooling. Freeze half of the pockets that you've just bet on every time a bet is placed. That is nasty. A bet on odd. I'll freeze some of those as well, right? So. Need that wave ball to kick off for me. It's up to 34 base points. Gets the job done. Three more discards. Remove a token or clone a token. I'm going to clone. That's level 3. If I clone that, I'm going to have two level 3 alphas and bet before the wave ball comes on. Or do I bet, do I clone a wave ball? I'm going to clone this, I think. 
Bet on four numbers in a square. I'm not going to use that, but I'm actually going to buy it for the wave ball because I'll never bet with that. And then I get my mark three items and I've got coins again, which is lovely. Um, as you can see here, I've got two alpha normal balls, which is fantastic. I'm going to upgrade that. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to tidy up some of these odd numbers. Go. Six coins left. Yeah, well, I'm just going to buy that again. Pose. Put on the wave ball. Alright. So, two bets on evens, which we now have 29 of. With plus 70 chips. It'll be lovely. As you can see, that becomes quite profitable and very likely. Twelve cents for the trouble. If I go a multi ball on the first page of each shop, every product are special bets. The first free roll is always free. That's expensive. about that. There's a mask though. I'll grab it I suppose. Going to find up another odd. Where are we? That's one. Guess that'll do. The only, only trouble I foresee is that there will be a, a boss that will penalize me for just using the one bet type. Um, so I should look to diversify as soon as I can. But we'll get to that when it's an issue. So, bet on high low. Bet on one vertical line. This bet reduce chips mirror. I'll just grab that one, I guess, to tick off a mask requirement, then I'll re-roll. That's a no-brainer. Another wave ball. Or a repeat ball. That, I'm not quite sure about that one. It can be really good, can be really bad, but you don't know until you roll it, do you? Um, I'm going to re-roll again. Here we go. What's that? Okay. Oh, well, may as well do that just to get another little tick on the mask. And move on. Bet on even twice with those buffed uh, chips. And off we go. So this gives me 25% more score if a different token used. If a round is cleared without using a discard, one of the lowest level tokens is upgraded, so that's fantastic actually. Because I'm not using discards at the moment. So that is just quietly leveling up my stuff for me. Bet on even or odd numbers when winning this bet have a chance to trigger golden. I'm gonna do that actually. I'm gonna put that on. This fella. Okay, I think he gave me some money again. So I'm getting pretty lucky with that. I think I'm going to go multi ball purely for the round robin bonus. Uh, I'll upgrade that as well. From the second bet, the bet will only have 20% chips. Which is concerning. Is it worth it? That'll do bugger all. Maybe I just need to take, instead of using a chip to bet, I just roll now. My 
Might be the way. Come on, wave ball. Ah, uh, oh, he, he's on an odd. That hurts. Maybe in Strafia. Multi ball may be able to help me. There we go. Cool. Clone a token. Dispense four coins every round. Got another clone? I'm still limited by how many I can use, so maybe that's not a great idea. Money dispenser sounds good. Okay, may as well buy you. We'll buy you. Mm, no, thank you. Roll. Yeah, I'll buy that. Free re reroll. Well, that's very generous of you. Hit on red or black. It'll give me an extra 15% if I use that. Suppose I'll just get rid of another odd. And move on. Up to 33 evens now. This will be on colour. So what are we looking at? 12 and 24. Not bad. So red even. They'll all kick in. They'll kick in twice. Oh, jeez. Not quite as good as I was hoping. That's handy though. Good old wave ball. Nice. 16 coins. Um, might do that just to cover it up again. And winning a color bet plus five points. Not going to be able to spend on anything better than that at the moment, so I may as well. 90,000. Yeah, even. Even. What's Echo Street? Any three. Not great. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to do better than that. Colour. They're not red even, please. There we go. Just need that multi ball to come up now. There he is on queue. Two even reds, two even blacks. Up to four balls now, you'll see. Beautiful. Bit on red or black pockets, Echo Fragile. Hey, what? I will do that. You gave me some money again? Getting really lucky with these. I wonder if his reward is based on what you're actually buying. Because I know for a fact when I've bought. The third mask item as a tile, it's actually expanded the tiles and give me like five of the same. That might have something to do with it. Wave ball also increases chips of bet it won permanently. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, I may as well actually... That's will improve the chances of a color bet as well.
Uh, we'll see what happens. Even. Even. Another wave ball. That leveled up that even bet. Is that what I'm understanding from this? Wave ball also increases chips of bet it won permanently. Echo color. Up to 27 red. Ah, and you go black. Only three chips left. Multi ball is one of them. Lots of even reds. That's beautiful. Wonderful. Round clear. Bit of cash. Might as well buy that just to get one little thing ticked off. Super Bowl is a high value ball. Why not? Ah, and the reward then was leveling up. Really good. Um, what else can I do? Not much. I don't really want odd numbers. Nothing at all. Boss fight. From the second ball, only score 70%. Which is concerning. Why is this here? Well, I was already there. Oh, I was at the Echo. Echo must carry over. I thought it was... I actually don't know what I thought that was. Anyway. Well, that's perfect. Golden, even, odd. Do it. Okay. Oh. This is really risky. Do I roll or do I put more on red? I think I just have to roll. Multi-ball. Should hopefully get us home here. Lovely. Remove one token. I'm not sure about that. I'm actually going to clone the... I'm going to clone the wave ball. No, the multi-ball. No, the wave ball. Do I? Is that smart? Have to find out, I suppose. Yeah, lots of money. It's good. Roll me. Okay, this is what we want. A large ball? Why not? And I'll get an item box as well. Oh jeez, when the highest level token is not used for a round, gain 15% more score permanently. The highest level is the super ball. Or the wave ball. I wonder how that counts. All right, we'll see. Depending on even, you'll see the value of these bets is going up as the wave ball lands on them. Gonna need to do a lot better than that, though. This might be the wall. Where is... I'm not using you. I'm going to bet you on colour. Because where's my multi-ball? Use my first discard. <laughs> multi-ball. 
It's free blocks. Are you serious? Not helpful. Large ball, no. If I can discard back to another multi ball. Oh no, it's fragile. Fragile. Hmm. Only 30 base points though. That's not good. I need another wave. There it is. My only hope, but it's not going to do it. I mean, that's a respectable score, but yeah, in the, in the face of 300,000 target, not good enough. Anyway, that was a decent run. Had a few different uh, strategies going. Um, but yeah, this is Bingle Bingle. Really recommended if you like roguelikes and uh, the roulette thing is just such a fun twist on the genre. Um, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this and want to see more. It helps me out a lot. If you have any games, suggestions or feedback, leave me in a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.